Also, the uh, big story with Bryce Young being benched. I feel bad for him. Not every number one pick, not every first round pick at that position should start. Bryce Young, I, he just seemed overwhelmed by it. If I'm playing at Alabama and I've got the offensive line, I got a Hall of Fame coach, I got a running back, I got wide receivers who are first round pick, it's pretty easy. It's not easy in Carolina. Although I've been told their offensive line is a lot better than I'm giving them credit for. They don't have playmakers there. And the first thing that goes with these quarterbacks is your confidence. And then you get into bad habits. And then all of a sudden you want the ball out of your hands. You don't want to be running for your life. So Andy Dalton is going to be the starting quarterback. I don't know what the uh, you know, timeline is here. But they might be saying goodbye to Bryce Young. They might be admitting they made a mistake. Well, they did make a mistake because of what they gave up to get the opportunity to take Bryce Young. And Bryce Young will always be compared to C.J. Stroud, just like Ryan Leaf was always compared to Peyton Manning. But Bryce Young is now going to sit, and he probably should have. But this is, there's enough of a sample size here. There's 18 games. He's 2-16. and 16. He's not threatening. They're not threatening. Even his two wins, I don't even think they had 20 points. And I get the feeling this came from high above with the owner, David Tepper, because the head coach, Dave Canales, he talked about Bryce was his quarterback, and then all of a sudden, Andy gives us the best chance to win. Uh, make up your mind, coach. Make up your mind here. Yes, Eaton. It's kind of like, you guys want to win? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like that's kind of my reaction. You know, no, he gives us the best chance to win. Why are you trying to do that? Okay, but let's <laughs> let's fast forward to April. The Carolina Panthers are on the clock. What are you doing? So what's the poll question we're going with? Uh, well, we're going with that one to start, uh, which is the bigger loss. We could also put in there, maybe for a little later, best landing spot for Bryce Young. Oh, man. Carolina, the field. <laughs> Anywhere other than that? I think he's going to play. This is going to sound crazy. Yesterday might have been a good day for Bryce Young. Because maybe you needed to sit down. Maybe you, you needed to learn on the job from the sidelines here. You're not ready to go. The team's not ready to go. And maybe... We've how many team how many quarterbacks have we seen where it didn't work out with the original team and then it did work out with the next team or the third team that they go to and maybe that's the case with Bryce Young. I've said it since he was being drafted. I don't know if he can play. I saw him at Alabama and he looked great, but there are a lot of people who look great in college. I don't know if like he's not a franchise quarterback. And there's a difference. There are guys where you go, that's the franchise. He's a quarterback. Like C.J. Stroud's a franchise quarterback. There's certain quarterbacks where you go, yeah, he's our quarterback. Like, I don't know if Drake May can play. I don't know if he's a franchise quarterback. But I do like what New England's doing. Because now he can watch. And now he can learn. And, you know, is he going to make rookie mistakes? Absolutely. They all do no matter how much you observe. But it feels like, why didn't Carolina do with Bryce what New England's doing with Drake May? Now, you might say, well, Bryce, number one overall pick, we got to play him. Your fan base, they, they, they want this. I, I would too. But I do want to make sure that he gets a chance to succeed. And I don't know if Carolina really put him out there in a position to succeed. It's like... You know, when you buy a house at the, the, the height of the market, like you're underwater already, and then you're trying to get out from underneath it. And then you, you trade his best receiver, DJ Moore. You don't have any draft capital. You still owe the Bears a second-round draft pick. <laughs> 
Yes, Todd. Will we look at Bryce Young any differently if Dalton goes in there and they're very similar results and he doesn't make them that much better? And we, we say, oh, it's just because the team is really bad. Don't put it on Bryce Young. So well, no, you can put it on Bryce Young. I mean, this is 18 games. Like, that's a sample size that is enough for me to go, he's just not ready. And Andy Dalton will play better at the position. Andy will hang in there in the pocket. He'll take the hit. Uh, you know, maybe make some plays there. But he's 36. They made a mistake. Plain and simple. Made a mistake. If you go all in, you have to get a C.J. Stroud. You can't go all in and get this end result. But it feels like this is a, Bryce, we have some nice parting gifts for you, but we're going to move on from you eventually. And as far as where he could land, God, when I saw him with his book bag, and it looked like if you said, oh, that's somebody's uh, son going uh, last day of high school or walking <laughs> to college. I, I, there and, goes the intern. Yeah, and then you go, that's Bryce Young. And I know everybody says, well, you know, uh, Drew, Ble uh, Drew Brees, he made it work. Okay, Drew Brees is such an anomaly at that position. And, and I mean, it, it's, I don't put him in there in that category. And, oh, well, Russell Wilson. Okay, Russ is six feet tall, but he's a lot bigger than Bryce Young. It's like hey, every small quarterback, well, if Drew Brees did it, there's no one. I mean, Drew Brees crazy that he wasn't athletic as far as beating you with his feet. He was in the pocket. He ran a great offense at Purdue, and he just took that into the NFL. But Bryce Young, and once again, Drew did it at Purdue, where he had to do a little more. And you watch Bryce, he's at Alabama. That's why I always thought it's, it's so hard to judge Alabama quarterbacks. And even now, I'm not all in on Jalen Hurts. I, I think he has the potential to be great, he makes me nervous sometimes. I think he, he, he's not there yet. He got his contract, but I, I don't look at him as a franchise quarterback yet. But look, I can say that about Justin Herbert. I can say that about uh, Trevor Lawrence. Like We want to anoint them, but they're not there yet. Joe Burrow's franchise quarterback. Mahomes' franchise quarterback. Like, there's... Certain ones that you just go, absolutely. But then there are others where you're kind of like, I need to see a little bit more here. Yes, yes, Mark. Well, to you, what puts them in the category of being a franchise quarterback? I just think it's a, when you see it, you know it. That's all. When you, I just feel that way. When I watch Burrow, he, he just, he looks like he's a franchise quarterback. Acts like a franchise quarterback. And I'm probably not being – like, Kirk Cousins is not a franchise quarterback. Or Derek Carr, not a franchise quarterback. They're your quarterback. And they do put up good numbers. But until you see that moment where you go, yeah, that guy. And there are very few of those. Bryce Young's just not ready for this. Unfortunately, not ready for this. And you're with a franchise that's trying to speed up the process. And you got a new head coach there. <laughs> And you got an owner who is very impatient. Yeah, Pauline. Yeah, and you're being kind to the owner by saying <laughs> yeah. that. Um, I wonder if a team, if the Carolina Panthers, let's say they morph into another mistake, taking quarterback number one, I wonder if another team looks at Bryce Young and says, we can buy him on the cheap. You know? Well, you, Dallas got Trey Lance. Yeah, and Trey Lance. You for know, a fourth round pick. Yeah, But Trey Lance wasn't ready for this. But like if you're the Miami Dolphins and you can give a – third round draft pick for Bryce Young and put him in your back pocket or another team that has quarterback wonky issues. Bryce Young, most of the money was paid by the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. He's relatively cheap the next two seasons yeah. and it's guaranteed under contract. Yeah. Somebody will, somebody will bring him in and, you know, I would love to see him be able to play where he goes to the line of scrimmage and he's not worried about getting hit. Like, Brock Purdy doesn't go to the line and go, oh, my God, who am I going to throw to? Or I got to run for my life. He goes there and he goes, I got Kyle Shanahan in my ear. I got that guy. I got that guy. I got Trent Williams. I got that. I got that. He doesn't think about, I got to get rid of this ball. You can watch Bryce Young and it feels like he goes to the line of scrimmage and he's like, God, this is going to hurt. 